I know even they carry music for it, but yesterday, I, I, at least you guys will give me one award. And at the end of the day, it's just like, yeah. what happened and yeah. nothing happened. I was like, wait till they worry this guy. She sure they won't call it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Sam, I feel you. I feel you very much. And a lot of people relay and feel the same way with you, bro. I think it's, at the end of the day, like, one, one thing I noticed, like, uh, how Whiskey was able to get two nominations in these so-called global music awards. Like, this category just ended up going back to what they were originally originally made out to be. Like, right. it was supposed to lump, like, the entire rest of the world into their non-European, indigenous, traditional sounds in, the, in, every, in every part of the world that they are in. And they've never seen the rest of the world in contemporary lenses. They've never seen them advance or evolve beyond whatever traditional sounds that they have. There's so much cool shit that is being made in different parts of the world that is much more commercial, it's much more attainable, it's much more like utilized than many of the traditional, even the record that won. It's probably not the, the biggest record in that country too. So right. they usually pick, and, and that's why this is not Femi's first nomination. And I don't even think this is going to be Made's last nomination in that category. Made is definitely going to show up again. So I think it boils back to what that category was made out to be. At first, they give it, they give us a glimpse of excitement with the African Giants nomination because that was an outlier. outlier. That was a complete outlier. Like outlier. you could never bet anything that, that based on the trajectory. Sorry, 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 I'm getting feedback. Based on the trajectory of that category, Brenner Boy showing up was almost impossible. It was virtually impossible at that time. And then we now said, okay, our foot is in there with this Brenner Boy nomination, right? It makes sense that it did. It made perfect sense that Angelique Kijo would win it at that time. Because again, it fits the aesthetics. It fits the objective of that category. And then they made a whole change. They put out an article. They changed the name from world music to global music. Oh, we are expanding the idea of what world music can look at. And we are being more open and, and accepting of contemporary sounds or contemporary takes on music in other parts of the world. So they opened it up and this, they had this all rebrand with it. They threw Bankuli in the, in, in, the, in, the, in the article for reference. They threw other like journalists there to like make the argument that, yeah, this category needs to expand. And they even cited Burner Boy as an example. And then Burner Boy makes an album that was strategic, strate- very strategic and very intentional in catering to whatever this new mode that they wanted in that out al- in that category to be, and rightfully so. He's still connected and tied to what the category used to be. So it wasn't so far off in Brennan Boy's situation. He actually still leaned towards what it was, in a way, but still embracing the new quote unquote rebranding that they've that they've said. And then he goes on to win it. Now, at this point, I'm thinking, yeah, it's a walk in the park for, e- for Wiz at this point. It's like, it's going to be a, like easy peasy for, for Wiz Kid. And for, for, for someone to see all these things, for me to see all this trajectory, I'd be like, yeah, it has to be Wiz Kid this time around. And not to even talk about the cultural in- impact and implications that the album and Essence made. They added a new category that could actually spotlight a song like Essence. So I was like, ah, no, they're moving the right direction. They're getting... They're getting all their their these things checked because it, it used to be just album conversations. Now they have a room for for singles, and you see the essence thing, and we see how things just bored out, and the results have just reflected that. Oh my, these people are just capping on their rebrand. Like they're just capping. You know, the only thing that comes to mind now is just create more categories that will actually look at the world in the contemporary sense, bro. If you are not going to look at the world in different lenses other than this imperialist mindset that you think they're 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 still stuck in their in their ways now my g like at least separate that separate the music comparing comparing music like like what we 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 saw when over essence it's just weird to me like it's just weird it's a weird comparison to make and it just doesn't even fit the mode like how do you even how can you sit down and and connect those two things and be like oh yeah th- we can lump these two up and compare them it just felt weird it's like comparing or juicy with 
kiss Daniel or something. It just felt weird. Like it's like why well, these people shouldn't be in the same category in terms of how their music is being presented. And bro, that's the only solution I can think that can come out of this is that they just need to split, like basically draw the line. This is traditional. This is contemporary. Let's move on, man. But anyway, um, I wanted to.